Hello everybody, today we have beautiful gaming laptop HP Omen Transcend 14 It's an Intel Core Ultra U9 processor with RTX 4070 graphics Let's take it apart, let's see what we can replace, fix or upgrade Let's start Start with bottom screws Now we have to separate the bottom case from the palm rest. So find a gap where you can put the tool in and use only plastic tool, otherwise you can scratch your parts. Once you find a gap, work your way around the edge to disconnect all the clips. Now we can access all the internal components, so let's take out the battery. Now we should be able to disconnect it. Okay, so if the battery is swollen or doesn't hold the charge, you can replace it. Here we have the part number. Now let's take out our speakers. So if the sound is bad, you can replace your speakers. Unscrew these two screws. And now we can disconnect it from the motherboard. So that's one speaker. And that's the opposite side. Unfortunately, this connector is under the motherboard. So we will take it out soon once we take out the motherboard. So now let's take out the storage. Under that cover we have our SSD drive, so if your laptop doesn't boot and tells you there is no boot device or you would like to upgrade to the bigger one, that's how you can do it. That's the NVMe SSD drive. Okay, now let's take out our cooling. Sometimes if the cooling doesn't work and you would like to repaste the thermal paste or you would like to replace it, this is how you can do it. So unscrew the screws for the heat sink. Unscrew for the fan. So if the fan doesn't spin or it's making grinding noise, you can replace it as well. Take out these screws. And disconnect it from the motherboard. Disconnect from the motherboard. And now let's lift gently the heatsink with fan. Be careful, don't bend the heatsink, it won't work if you bend it. There are two more screws on the sides. Okay, now we can take out the heat sink. Here we can see our processor and the graphics GPU. They both soldered on the motherboard, so if these don't work, you have to replace the whole motherboard. And here we have our fans. Here we have the part numbers. Here we can see our Wi-Fi card. 
So if the Wi-Fi doesn't work, you can replace this card. Disconnect gently the antenna wires. Now we can take out the card. Right. Here we have the model number and the part number. So now let's continue with taking out the motherboard. So disconnect all the remaining connectors. That's our video connector. this retaining key now we can disconnect the keyboard connector Let's take out all the screws. There is one screw here on the corner. Okay. One more connector. And one more screw here in the corner. Okay, now we should be able to take it out. And we can disconnect our speaker. So these were our speakers. Here we have the part numbers. And that's our motherboard with the part number. Now let's see what else we can replace. Let's see if we can replace the touchpad. So let's take out this bracket. Okay, there are two more screws on the top. Actually, a few more screws.
There's screw hidden under that. Okay, now we can take out the touchpad. So if the touchpad doesn't work, you can replace it. Okay, so now let's disconnect our palmist keyboard assembly from the screen. So take out the screws for the hinges. Now unfold the hinges. Let's see. Let's unscrew these screws. Okay, so that's our palm rest keyboard assembly. The keyboard is riveted to the palm rest, so if you have to replace the keyboard, look for the whole as palm rest keyboard assembly. If you need parts, check gutlaptopparts.com. And here we have our screen. Let's see if we can disassemble it. Okay, so once you disconnect all the clips, you can take out the LCD, that's our screen. Here we have the part number. And here we have the part number. That's our back cover with the hinges and the video cable and the webcam. Alright, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.